pressure testing for tightness. The work is to be carried out on a complete refrigeration system. This means a condensing unit connected to an evaporator. Connections for carrying out the procedure are on the condensing unit, suction and liquid valves. B MaxiPro fittings are used in the suction and liquid lines. The following tools and equipment are required. Regulator for nitrogen with a 50 bar maximum output pressure. Gauge manifold set without a sight glass fitted with hoses. Leak detection spray. The following consumables are required. Cylinder of oxygen free nitrogen clearly labelled. The engineer should be wearing work clothing. Long sleeves, safety boots, safety goggles. The work area should be open and well ventilated. This short video demonstrates pressure testing for leak tightness. As with the strength test demonstrated in the previous video, we are just showing the testing of the suction pipework installed on the R407F system. The pipework has already been pressure tested for strength and is charged with nitrogen at a strength test pressure, 16.3 bar. You may decide to tightness test the whole system, for example, to include the condensing unit. In this case, take care not to exceed the vent pressure of pressure relief valves. The requirement for pressure testing for strength and leak tightness is the same for systems using the B-MaxiPro joints as for any other permanent jointing method. For most systems, the tightness test pressure is the maximum allowable pressure, denoted as PS. The low side PS for this system is 14.8 bar. The bubble point pressure at 32 degrees centigrade. So the tightness pressure is 14.8 bar. We are using oxygen-free nitrogen for the pressure test and we'll be checking for leaks using leak detection spray. You can also use nitrogen with a trace gas such as helium or hydrogen and use an electronic leak detector suitable for the trace gas. The trace gases have small molecules and therefore leak more readily. In this case, lower test pressures can be applied provided that equal sensitivity can be shown. As in normal practice, we have already carried out a pressure test for strength so the pipework is already charged with nitrogen at a higher pressure than required for the tightness test. Watch the short video about pressure testing for strength for information about the procedure and the equipment you require. You now need to reduce the pressure in the pipework to the tightness test pressure. The manifold valve, the nitrogen cylinder and the regulator are all closed. Carefully remove the hose from the nitrogen regulator. It contains nitrogen at the test pressure. Hold it securely. Open the manifold valve and vent the nitrogen from the system until the pressure has dropped to the tightness test pressure. In this case, 14.8 bar. Close the manifold valve. To test for leaks, you can either check each joint with leak detection spray or you can leave the pipework under pressure for 24 hours or longer. For the latter method, you should note the temperature at the start and end of the pressure test, because if the ambient temperature changes, so will the nitrogen pressure. Therefore, an increase in ambient temperature could mask a leak. For every 5 degrees centigrade change in temperature, the pressure will change by approximately 0.7 bar. If the nitrogen pressure does drop during this test, you will need to check each joint to pinpoint the leak. When the test has been completed, you should carefully vent the remaining nitrogen. Again, tightly hold or secure the vent line to prevent whip and ensure the area is very well ventilated. Remember that nitrogen can asphyxiate. When the nitrogen has been vented, the system is ready to be evacuated. There is a short video on this as well. If it is not to be evacuated immediately, the system should be left with a small nitrogen holding charge, for example 0.5 bar, and labelled. The Schrader valve should be capped. If leaks are found during the tightness test, the nitrogen must be vented before the leaks are repaired. 
If a BMAXI Pro joint is leaking, the joint should be cut out using a pipe cutter. It is likely that this will reduce the pipe length, so you will need to fit two new joints. The most probable cause of BMAXI Pro joint failure is poor preparation or installation. Refer to the BMAXI Pro instructions for the correct jointing procedure.